in this room stands to make history next year. Democrats, we will have the privilege and the massive responsibility to be the first party in South Africa in 75 years to go from opposition into a leading role in government. And our country has not experienced this until the, uh, since the National Party won its first election all the way back in 1948. For the next 46 years, no one really challenged them in elections. And this was then followed by 29 years of uninterrupted ANC rule. Three quarters of a century of one party rule has been disastrous for our country. Following the release of our review panel report and the exit of several high profile leaders, Many wasted no time pending our obituary. Internally, however, we knew, even before we'd read the review panel report, that our electoral problems and troubles were as a, as a result of us having become untethered from our core values and our liberal principles. We knew that in trying to dabble in identity politics and water down aspects of policies of parties like the ANC, in an effort to try and be a bit of everything to everybody, we've given up on our very strong, very clear identity that has sustained us for decades, even through the darkest days of apartheid. Some were predicting even that some of the departing leaders of the DA would go on to replace the DA with their new movements and platforms and dialogues. According to Ipsos at that time, the DA was polling at just 16%. And nobody saw us coming back from that. That colleagues was the DA I inherited when I put my hand up to lead this party as the interim federal leader in October 2019. It was a party in electoral decline. It was a party that struggled to define its values. A party with no clear ideological position on just about any issue. It's easy to say to the world that you believe in non racialism but it's another thing to actually have the guts to stand up to the growing populist trend of racializing laws and of racializing society and re-racializing South Africa. Just as we were the only party fighting to protect South Africans from load shedding through credible practical solutions. Well done, DA government. We were the only party condemning the Russian invasion of Ukraine and raising right at the beginning the impact of what this invasion would have on poverty here in South Africa on our continent. Those are facts that matter and those are our facts. And our facts. And people will not forget it. That's why it's no accident or fluke that we enter the selection campaign period in a strong position, almost 12 percentage points up from our low four years ago. Yeah. 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 Yeah.